the Fox 44 weather forecast with Weather Rage certified meteorologist Emily Kay. Hey, good Thursday evening, everyone. Well, it's been a pretty nice day, if not just a little warm. No rain out there right now here in most of central Texas. And good news, this is what it's going to look like over the next several days going into your weekend. So you can keep those umbrellas uh, put up because you're not going to need to use them all the way until next week. High temperatures today got all the way into the mid to upper 70s across most of the area. So it was a little on the warm side. Gatesville actually saw a high of 79 degrees today and Waco saw that high reaching 74 degrees so it was warm it's not going to be this warm by tomorrow don't worry those temperatures already dropping down into the upper 60s and lower 70s across most of the area and as we go throughout the rest of the night those temperatures will continue to drop down into the 50s and then eventually by tomorrow night we'll start to see those 40s once again winds coming in from the south about 10 to 15 miles per hour across most of the area some of it is a little gustier than others or some areas are a little gustier than others but that southerly wind is making it feel muggier and warmer out there so that's why it's so warm today. Those dew points all the way into the upper 50s across most of central Texas, 60s down near College Station. And the closer the dew points are to the actual temperature outside, the muggier and more uncomfortable it feels. If you remember those temperatures sitting in the upper 60s and lower 70s, and that's pretty close for those dew points. For the rest of the night, those temperatures continuing to drop down into the lower 60s by midnight into the upper 50s off to our west. We'll start to have this cold front moving through around midnight tonight. It's not going to be a strong cold front. Don't expect to see any rain with it as it moves through the area, but it will drop us down from the 60s all the way to a brisk 50 degrees by tomorrow morning, waking up to those temperatures in the lower 50s. Those clouds moving out once that cold front moves on through. And then by lunchtime tomorrow afternoon, we'll see those temperatures reaching the lower 60s and upper 50s. Mostly sunny skies as we go throughout your Friday. Going into Friday night, we'll see those, or Friday afternoon, we'll start to see those temperatures reaching the lower 60s. But Friday night, that's when we'll drop down into the 50s and then 40s. So it is going to be a chillier Friday night than it is going to be tonight. And then by Saturday morning, we'll be waking up to cooler temperatures all the way into the upper 30s and 40s across most of central Texas. A few clouds here and there on Saturday, but as we get into the afternoon, those temperatures reaching the 50s, clouds starting to move out by later in the day, and we'll start to see our highs reaching the lower 60s once again on Saturday. So expect some nice weather in the coming days. Overnight tonight, temperatures getting into the upper 40s, lower 50s, partly cloudy skies going into tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, we'll see those highs reaching the lower 60s with mostly sunny skies. Tomorrow looking absolutely fantastic to start off your Friday. And then that seven day forecast really looking nice out there. I just tripped on my way walking over here, Adam. And then <laughs> seven day forecast looking a little better than that trip. If it comes up, we'll see those temperatures sitting in the 70s by next week. And then again, that's going to be Sunday, your seven day forecast for Bryan College Station. Look at that in the 60s by Saturday and then into the lower 60s by tomorrow. It's going to be a nice week for Bryan College Station. It's going to be pretty similar to our Waco uh, seven day as well. And we'll go back and see that because it kind of wanted to skip a little bit. Look at that in the lower 60s Friday and Saturday and then Sunday mid 70s. Monday getting into the upper 70s. Another cold front moving through by Tuesday morning. And again, that's going to be a 20% chance of rain, rain late Monday night and then early Tuesday morning. But the rest of the week, Looking a little chilly. That's more uh, December weather. That's right.